Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Madison. Thanks for joining. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some little goodies that I picked up at Sephora that is now launched at Sephora, which I think is really cool. And if you guys wanted to see what I picked up, then just keep watching. So I don't know if you guys are like me, but like I stock Sephora's um, app like every day. I always check the just arrived or newly launched section and I checked there two days ago and they were selling ColourPop. ColourPop is now on Sephora. <laughs> I think that's so cool. They had a bunch of exclusives. Obviously, they don't have the entire ColourPop collection, but they have limited and exclusive sets, which I think is really awesome. And I did pick up, I think, one of every, one in every category. So let's go through. I will be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on each product. I will be giving you swatches and whatnot. So let's get started. So first up, I'm going to be talking about the Lip Trio. This is the You're a Gem Lip Trio with one ultra glossy lip and two satin lips. I love the colors. It's kind of orangey, has like a gemstone pattern on it. And then on the back, you get to see all of your colors. So we have Misbehaving, Charming, and Catching Feels. So these are what they look like. They have, uh, I think it's a rose gold, a rose gold top. Color pops are in gold, and the names are on the bottom. This set is exclusive to Sephora, and it retails for $23. So first up is the Ultra Glossy Lip, and this is in Charming. Kind of like this pale peachy pink with gold reflex in it. Really, really pretty. Doesn't really have a smell to it, and once again, that is the color there. It is super pretty. This would be nice as like a topper on a nude lip, and great for the holidays. Next up, we have the Ultra Satin Lip, and this is in Catching Feels. And that's the color there, super gorgeous. This is totally gonna be my color for winter. Like I said, it's kind of like a, or I would even say it's like a red brick brown. Like to me, that's what it looks like. And I cannot wait to try this. <laughs> and then last in the set is Misbehaving. And this is like a purple fuchsia berry color, more purple. This shade is stunning, I love it. I definitely don't wear deep violets. Um, but I should. I think that would make blue eyes or green eyes pop. So super excited to have this. I don't own a lot of ColourPop satin lips and I don't even think I own a glossy lip, but the glossy lip is not sticky whatsoever and these are super beautiful. They're the satin so they're not going to completely dry down matte, but they are going to have more of a matte finish. Next up for the collection, we have the Super Shock Shadows. They had three shades available, uh, and I could only grab two, so I have Fluffy, and then I have Revolution. The packaging in these are super cute. The Revolution is in the purple box, and Fluffy is in the green box. And these retail for $7 each. So Fluffy is kind of like a warm gold with a pink duo shift to it. It's really, really super beautiful. And then the other one I got is Revolution. And this is kind of like a silvery mauve. And then it has silver and gold glitter in it. They do have your regular ColourPop uh, white casing around them, which I think is kind of cool. So this is Fluffy. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys just saw that swatch, but like that is beautiful and like super, super pigmented. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. Okay, and then next up is Revolution. I always feel like I break these packages. <laughs> oh my God, that's super beautiful too. I don't know why I'm shocked. ColourPop does an amazing job on their eyeshadows. But those are super buttery, like butter. And you could totally see in the um, Mavi one that there is kind of like a silvery shift to them. And that gold one, I can kind of see like a pink duochrome to it. It's not too bam in your face. Like it's more gold than anything, but there is kind of like a pinky shift to it. Super excited to have these on the lid. And next up, I grabbed two eyeshadow palettes. Now, these are the only two palettes that are on line right now. They both retail for $33. This one you're getting 15 eyeshadows and this one you're getting eight. The only thing I was a little bit disappointed about with these is they actually didn't have a palette that was their pressed eyeshadows like you know the new matte ones that they have these are both all shimmer shades I don't wear all shimmer shades all over my eyes I like to have matte in my crease so I'm a little a little bit disappointed that there's nothing on the site that's their matte they did have a uh, limited edition in the pots that were matte and also shimmer as a gift set but that wasn't really catching my eye whereas these ones are they were 
Like I said, they retailed for $33 each, and I will break down each individual palette. First up is the Golden State of Mine. This is the one that has 15 pressed eyeshadows. I was super excited to get this one in my cart. Like I said, there is 15 eyeshadows. All of these to me look wearable, maybe except for that blue one. But super pretty, very neutral. Um, the packaging is absolutely stunning with the foil gold. And this is what the actual palette looks like. Mimics the box with the nice gold foil on it. And you do actually have all the list of the names of the eyeshadows on the back, which I think is great. So this is what this palette looks like to me. This is absolutely gorgeous and so aesthetic looking. You have ColourPop and a bunch of little glittery dots on the top in the gold foil again, and then these are all of your eyeshadows. Now, like I said before, I was a little bit disappointed that there was no mattes. These are all shimmer shades, but this is great. You can do so many different looks with them. I actually am wearing this on my eyes today, and I will show you which color in a second. But I think this is super pretty. I could use pretty much all of these shades, but some of them do have some fallout and some kickback. So you will see in the swatches coming right up um, that some of them are a little bit. Some You definitely have your hits and misses in a palette. So um, I'm super excited for this cranberry shade, this orange shade, and there's a few different golds and kind of duochrome ones that I'm super excited to place all over the lids. So your top row is Golden Egg. Pay the Piper, Girlfriend, Zero Clue, Watch Out. The middle row is Drizzle, Uptight, Can't Stop, Sparkler, and Unsupervised. And the last row is Lust in Time, Mind Tricks, Wing Woman, Heads or Tails, and Tinker Time. Like I said in the swatches you just witnessed, <laughs> some of them are very flaky and some of them do, well, pretty much almost all of them do have a lot of kickback. I do wish there was a little bit of a mirror in here, but it's no biggie. For 30 bucks, I got 15 eyeshadows, and I think it was a steal. Next up is the Semi Precious Eyeshadow Palette. This is the one now that only has eight eyeshadows inside of it, and out of the two, this one is more of my favorite. One for the formula, two for the colors. This, again, retails for $33, and this is more of your blue. It has a blue packaging, white stars, and once again, the gold foil printing. Once again, the palette does match the packaging, which is super great, and you do have all of the names of the eyeshadows on the back of the palette. So this is what this one looks like. I am super excited for that cranberry shade, and I'm super excited for this green. I think that's the reason why I pretty much got this palette, <laughs> was for those two, but the rest of them are absolutely stunning. I definitely say these ones are a lot more pigmented than the other eyeshadow palette, but I still think they're both worth it. These ones are super buttery, almost like they're cream ones that are in the pot, the individual pots. I think that this formula mimics those a lot. The other one has more of your kickback and whatnot. Super buttery, super pigmented, and I actually have this one right here, which is Celestial, actually on my eyelids today. Went on super easy. I just used a flat brush with a little bit of uh, MAC Fix Plus, and it went on super beautiful. Yes, it did have some fallout because it is kind of like a putt pressed glitter, but it was super, super pigmented. So first up, we have Celestial, Beam Me Up, Easy Go, Up and Atom, and then the last row is West Star, Bashful, Upon a Star, and The Game. That was all of the ColourPop items that I did get. They all are available right now online. Now, the only thing that sucks is you actually can't use your percentage off if you're a Via B, Via B Rouge, or whatnot. It's not allowing you to use your coupon on these items. I don't necessarily know why, but they are cheap anyways. ColourPop is known for their prices, so I still think they deserve, you know, for you to go check them out. I'm just going to show you guys a couple goodies that I did get in this Sephora order as well. So they had going on, you could pick a day or a night little baggie, and it came with uh, some samples in it, so I picked the night one. You get a little Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask in Soothe, Nourish, and Hydrate, so you get to try the three little ones there. You also get a Marc Jacobs Eyeliner Gel Crayon in the black one, which I did get one, and it's super black, and it is so hard to get off. <laughs> Up next, you get the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Exfoliating Cleansing Power Powder to Clear Pores. Up next, you get a Sephora Rouge Cream Lipstick in Red, which I think is super cute. Everyone loves little minis. Like, look at this. It's so little. Then you get a Tardis Lip Paint in FOMO, which I have before, so this will be going in a future giveaway. Up next, you have the All-in-One Egg Mellow Cream 5-in-1 Firming Moisturizer, and this is from Too Cool for School. 
Never tried that brand, so that's super awesome. And then the last thing in here is obviously a perfume sample, and this is the Marc Jacobs Decadence. I really like this, but it's kind of really strong for me. It is my birthday month, so I went ahead and picked up my birthday gift. I did pick the Tarte, and I think the other one you could pick was Caudalie or Fresh. A skincare kind of set. And this is in the exclusive shades of Birthday Suit and Party. I'm actually wearing both of them on my face today. <laughs> Party I have on my cheeks as my blush and then a birthday suit is actually what's on my lips now it's funny because on if you look at this color it looks really light but on my mouth it went really dark I don't know I like it I love Tarte's formula on their lip paint I think it is the quick dry I'm not too sure but went on staying on super super beautiful I picked up a 100 point perk of the Artist Face Color by Makeup Forever. I got this in S214, a blush. It's super gorgeous. Like, I want to go pick up the full size of that. Like, that's gorgeous. And it blends out really nicely. I got a Ren Skin Care Global Protection Day Cream, a Beauty Blender Liquid Cleanser, and apparently another cleanser. And then the dreadful... VIB Rouge item. <laughs> I unlocked VIB Rouge again for next year. So this year they gave away, oh, a brush. That's cool. I didn't even look at it. I just added it in my cart. So they gave away the Sephora Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush, which is really cute. I like how it's kind of in the red thing. Oh my God, this is super soft. Anyway, so that was everything in my little haul and my little breakdown of the new ColourPop at Sephora. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. And if you aren't already, click that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!